Hello. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Slurp. It's June o'clock. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Sorry we're a little bit late. I blame Carla because we've been watching her live stream and bidding on random items that well, she was you've auctioning. Well, you've been bidding on random <laughs> items. Yeah. That was fun. I tried to win the uh, the kinky coasters. I know you tried and really. I don't know who. Oh, I think it was Lex, wasn't it? That won them. Yeah. They went for twenty pounds for Karma Sutra coasters. I know they went a bit mental, didn't they? If you don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> our, our good friend Carla was. Uh, she did a live stream just a minute ago, and was I think it was two hundred auctions. She said were ending during this live stream. Yeah, so he bought me a nice DVD about how to make myself thin. <laughs> I didn't buy it for you. I thought that would go for a lot more because I've sold that at Amazon before. So I thought, oh, I'll chop 99p on before it goes up and it didn't go up. So that's a bit crazy. Anyway, that was fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. So welcome to the video. Um, if you're new and there might be a lot of new people in, I'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, but if you are new, welcome. We do a live hangout every Sunday at eight o'clock. Uh, which is just our chance to hang out with you guys really share what's been going on in our little world of reselling online and we have a haul we so do. Yeah. i'm nick and this is my wife andrea like i'm doing this all back to front today <laughs> and we have a haul we went out boot sailing today so we're going to share a load of stuff i found some really exciting stuff well it's exciting for me anyway although one's a bit of a disappointment yeah, isn't Beck it said the coasters are mine <laughs> yeah fantastic no, the quiz isn't first we have to talk about some sort of reselling before we have a quiz <laughs> we've got lots of tat to squeeze in before we do quizziness yeah um but i mentioned there that there might be a, a lot of new subscribers in because today alone we've had over 400 new subscribers um a video we released about a week ago has gone mental. Um, it was a video about these things. While well, I've got some here, these little little sellotape thingies. I've just sold another three packs for forty pounds. For those people that are messaging on that video and saying, "Well, that was a waste of time. You can't sell them." Heck, yes, I can. Um, but that video went bonkers over the last couple of days. It's getting about fifteen hundred views an hour now, and it's on. I don't know, 30 or 40,000 views. And yeah, the whole, yeah, it's all gone mental. We never get views like that. So it's it's quite crazy. I know. Lots and lots of um, people watching you. It's very strange. Watching me <laughs> clearing the, the shelves in a supermarket of bits of sellotape. Yeah. But yeah, that's been quite interesting to watch that kind of take off. Um, but yeah. Um, who was it said? Was it Andrew? Might have been. Scroll back a minute, just a little bit. What? What? No, yeah, it was about Andrew. Said, can we have the quiz before um, line of duty starts, <laughs> which is nine o'clock? <laughs> um, if we get round to it, yes. But as we said, we've got a lot of stuff to show. We do so... actually have stuff. Yeah. So, um, if you are new to this format, we are broadcasting live. The people that <laughs> broadcasting live, broadcasting across <laughs> the world. Um, well, the point is that you can interact live as well. There is a live side chat. So if you're logged in on a, on a YouTube But if you're watching this account, and it's not Sunday evening at seven minutes past eight, then you can't because we're not live anymore. Yeah, some people get confused and ask us <laughs> questions as if we're live below. Mm -hmm. um, and try and join in the quiz sometimes in the comments, which is fun, <laughs> but it doesn't quite work that way. Um, yeah, so first in was Lucy, as usual, on yes, a Sunday. Hello, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. We're going to say a few quick hellos and then we're going to crack on with sharing some goodies. Uh, do you want to do hellos? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Hello, Amy. <laughs> Shame. Amy was in Carla's chat. Um, Adrian, Margaret, um, Chelsea and Karen. Hi, Karen. Hope we, you're feeling a bit better. We were looking um, for Alan today, Mia. weren't we? And yeah, I can't see anyone else. So that hello to all those people. I say we were... Everyone else is in the chat. We tried to see Chelsea today, but he wasn't there. He's usually at this boot sale or sometime. Yeah. Um, we did really well. Uh, so I don't know if you were there and we just missed you. So lots of other people. Gary's in, Lilland Alf, Ray Deacon, Mr. Dosh, Black Widow, Dave, Claire, 
let me scroll through i'm the legend which is ash george derek tap peddler um karen adrian did you say hi to adrian yes i did say hi thomas to adrian. wow lots and lots of chat so let me hi everyone says too much yeah. stuff and i think you've missed i think daryl and carol is that uh, too much stuff says so been watching for a while but first time in the chat so welcome glad you made it what would you say daryl and carol you missed as well i think oh okay and m mass miss mm. butterfly wow All right let me whiz through see if we've got any quick questions uh george says he will be in and out he's sorting out the girls fine we are are we all ready to quiz we're, we're gonna share a haul first all right hold on for the quiz <laughs> <laughs> this was a reselling show once once yeah. upon a time am i in shadow i don't life? know we both are a little bit but, uh, oh they're absolutely shattered tonight i'm just gonna drink more coffee wake myself up <laughs> well we've been out buying tax it wears you out mm. is that better that's better yeah that is better Okay, right. Not, I'm going to whiz to the end if I can find it. Did you go to M and S for RA ninety percent off? No, no, you only told me about that like yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> I did get wind of it, but no, we didn't go. In no. a word, we normally would, but we just weren't prepared. Um. Wow. Chat. Chat. Yeah. Chat. Um. How can 182 people be watching and only seven likes? Because only seven people like it. <laughs> or sometimes when you go into it, you don't necessarily think to like it when you go into the chat too. Yeah. If you do chat. like it, you yeah. welcome thumbs up. If you don't, the thumbs down option is there. <laughs> oh, someone, Christine says you've hit 23,000 subs. Yeah, it, it's know. gone nuts. Yeah, it's been, it, it's been an interesting weekend. <laughs> it has. Of, I was sat there watching it last night as this video kind of went not proper viral but a bit silly and it was getting a thousand views an hour yeah. and it's now getting more it's now up to about 1500 to 1800 views an hour just on that one video yeah I know. crazy it's a bit <laughs> really crazy why yes. that video as well my, my cat kidston giraffe mug karen it's one i bought in worthing wasn't it that you um, complained about <laughs> Well, you have a mug addiction, you know, you need to get therapy. Mel's in. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Dwayne is in. Hey, Dwayne. Long time no see. Um, I saw a question. No, somebody. Oh, the, the Craft of Crystals says, hi, all. First time in the chat, but I've watched for a while. That's Catherine. Welcome. Oh, cool. uh, King of Pennies. I've heard some exciting news that eBay is trialing a beta phase of its own fba and is trialing in germany oh interesting. interesting um i just bought a carrier bag of lego says jackie b on ebay buy it now for two pound ten and a pound postage i guess i won't get it well if they're going to send it out they're going to make a big loss yeah because <laughs> a carrier bag of lego is not going to ship for a pound um there was a question there how do people feel about the my hermes price hike well i don't think anyone's pleased about it but there's nothing we can do no. apart from shop around yeah l333 no 33 misses says that they've got a matching lunch box to go with my mug oh cool <laughs> it was cool oh look i saw a kath kidston mug on saturday in a charity shop they wanted six pounds for it and it wasn't even in very good condition i know six pounds it's like you could buy them for five pounds in the sale <laughs> well i picked up so a ridiculous. mug i picked up a vintage um love is mug do you remember love is from the 70s and 80s two little characters two little like cartoon style characters there's a little dinky love is 1971 i think it was 71 mug i picked it up and i said how much is this and my brain heard 10p but what she actually said was 10 pounds yeah, 10 pounds so i did a kind of oh yeah i don't think it would even huh? sell for that much on ebay no so I, I did a double take and i was like pounds okay thanks put it back yes wow. um miss butterfly asks if i've sold the vegan leather jacket no it's still there haven't sold it yet 
And look, Mia Resell says that video, the one we mentioned that's gone a bit crazy, is how I found you. I think it's being put in pe people's recommendations. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Cool. Let me get to the end of the chat so we oh, can see Carla as it says, comes. Sorry to hijack the chat, but if you purchased from me during my live stream and you plan to pick up at the meetup, could you message me via eBay? Because I now don't know who's one of us and who isn't. Who's one of us? <laughs> Well, I'll pick my bits and bobs up at the meetup along with the Kenwood mixer. <laughs> oh, hi, dear. I think you should do that every week, Carla. Just put all your stuff on auction and we'll all buy it. <laughs> I'm not sure it's sustainable. No, to be I don't honest. think so. Right. Oh, David M is in. Hi, David. Hope you're well. Um, Broken English says, are you in Hertfordshire? Yes, we're in Hitchin. I saw the sticky gun, sticky gun video. You mean sticky tape video? These things um, randomly popped up in my subscription. I think I recognised the Tesco's. You probably yeah. do. You <laughs> probably know exactly where that is. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to share what we picked up today. Um, those of you that are new may not know we are full time resellers so we buy stock and we sell it for profit uh, mainly on ebay also do a lot of Am amazon but that's quite seasonal for us yeah. um and today we went out sourcing so we're going to yeah. kind of alternate yeah might as well because andrea tends to pick up clothing and shoes that sort of stuff i tend to pick up everything else whatever i find so yeah do you want to start with something yeah um i'll start with these clark's shoes which is those these are really um, yeah, nice. Yeah, they haven't been worn. Still got the labels on the bottom. And she asked for five, and I was umming and ahhing, and then she said, I'll take four. So I said, all right, then. <laughs> are you sure so they haven't worn? Well. They may have been worn. Maybe very lightly. Very lightly once. But, but I mean, the heel, look. Hardly any. Virt yeah, a tiny bit. I reckon it's like a. they wore them and they weren't comfy, or they wore them to a wedding or something. Yeah. And But I think they'll sell super easy. Yeah, but yeah, there's hardly hardly anywhere to now, go, so they're nice. I, but I I don't look up comps before we go live anyway. So I, I, I normally do, much. but I got engrossed in Carla's live stream and started bidding on Karma Sutra um, coasters, <laughs> which I didn't win. I didn't know what we were going to do with them if you did buy them. Me buy either. Them. Um, yeah, oh, my brain's working slowly because I'm so tired. I had that four, like, four hours sleep last night. Um, I was going to say something and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. uh, Miss Butterfly says, I got a pair of Rockport women's heels for £2. Rockport, is that a cool. brand you've had? I don't um, recognise it. I've not had it before, but I've heard of it. Cool. Um, right, I went to a stall and um, towards the end, and it was three for a pound on his media and other stuff. And... I haven't had a chance to sort this out. Andrew was saying you haven't looked up prices. I, I came in here to look up prices and then got ab ab absorbed into Kyla's mm. video. So I haven't looked anything up and I haven't organized it. But I got a bunch of media and then he chucked in a really nice uh, PS1. It's the one without the little analog pads. So that three for a pound. And it also included a little chat pad for Xbox 360, which is nice. Um, and some games it's so weird when we see stuff like that when you pick it up now because it just reminds me of the shop yeah when we had our gaming shop we used to have a high street gaming shop and we used to sell loads of these brand new we used to mm -hmm. get them wholesale from microsoft and, and we used to sell them for like what 20 30 quid mm -hmm. or whatever they were new and there was one that we got 33p um oh, shirley's world's in hi shirley hello shirley <laughs> i was watching you live shirley the other day but you weren't I don't know if you can see this live chat when you're live because you weren't responding. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, do you want to share something else? Um, can do. Actually, these are possibly for me. <laughs> for you. I'm not going to yeah. be able to step so, back. And, I know. And, we've hemmed ourselves in. And model anything. Just literally. So these are like a little shift dress. Just really love the pattern. It's only two, but they are my size and... I really, really liked them. So picked up that one and this one as well. Sorry. <laughs> very retro in their pattern. Retro in their style. Very kind of all a Kylie and almost in that 
Orla Kylie, isn't it? Orla Keeley. I think it's pronounced Kylie. I've Is been it? saying Keeley for years, but the way it's spelled, I think it's Kylie. Um, yeah, so I love anything like that anyway. Oh, but yes, it would fit if, me. If you're it. new here, but, um, this is a thing. I but tend to model the uh, women's clothes. If I try clothes. them on and they don't fit or they don't um, suit me or whatever. It's quite wide. Yeah, the waist isn't necessarily. It cinches in. That's hips, dear. Women have wide hips. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying is if, it, if for some reason they don't fit me or they don't look right when I put them on, then they will sell well. Um, although they're two, um, two do some really, really lovely prints and they're quite sought after. So they will sell on eBay quite well. So they're £1.50 each. Can't go wrong. Cool. Um, oh, my goodness. I am trapping myself. In You're stuck. With stuff. Okay, right. Now, I, we were filming today, a bit of an experiment. I took the GoPro, but I didn't want to mount it. Certainly didn't want to mount it on my head like I did in here the other day. Oh, um, Nick said that wasn't the right, the right colour for you, Nick. Was that not my colour? No, it wasn't your colour. Oh, well. Um, but we did take the GoPro, and I was trying it out just holding it in my hand. Don't know what footage came out, but some of these things you will see the the, the purchase, hopefully, in the, the conversation. Um, but this... I took a punt on this. These are vintage Tony Robbins. Vintage. <laughs> vintage. Oh, I know, just makes me laugh that it's vintage. Anthony Robbins, when in his nineties uh, style, there. These are CD audiobooks. It's a set uh, called Personal Power Two. I paid ten pounds. Some of them are sealed. This one is still factory sealed. Uh, so is that one, that one, that one. So four out of the, is it 10? 10, 8, 9, 10, oh, it's 12. Four are sealed, the rest aren't. But I think I'm looking at about £50 back on that. Um, I assume it's... I some... think it's interesting his name was Anthony Robbins back in the day. He's shortened it since. Tony Robbins, but he's still going strong, still incredibly popular in the... It's kind of self-empowerment Still guru. shouting as loud. <laughs> yeah. Get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched it. I know Zaheer likes really likes Tony Robbins. So that was a nice pickup from the same guy. I, I, I like on? what he stands for and what he does. I just can't bear his shouting. <laughs> it just doesn't suit me as my personality. No. So I have to turn him off. Um, um what was it? Um Shirley said that we were blurry. If we are blurry, can you all let us know? Not that we can do much about it, but <laughs> I don't know if it's really terrible. We might have to stop and start. But our internet's been funny today, isn't it? Yeah, it may be Ellen streaming or something. I think she is. She's watching Conan. Can you go and tell her not to? Oh, I've got to get up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let us know. Oh, Jackie B says not blurry. Oh, Alexandra Weeks, yes, blur. Blurry here. Now it's fine. Stream is good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All good. It, de it depends <laughs> where you're watching. Um, from the same guy that I got the Tony Robbins, I managed to find this little beauty. Now these things, this is a Nintendo uh, Game & Watch. You can see it's got Nintendo, the official logo under there. Yeah. These were huge in the 80s. Uh, is this part of the reason why we got into eBay? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> this is what started me off because I was collecting these. When I first learned to drive, I started going to car boot sales and I was buying stuff for myself. Um, and I was picking up these. At that point, we're talking 1997. I was finding these most weeks. They're like hen's teeth now because everyone knows they're quite sought after. Haven't found one for ages. This one, unfortunately, that panel has come loose, but that's just going to be an easy repair. Yeah. Um, and then I put some batteries in and it hasn't fired up. Mm. which is annoying it's got batteries in now and you should see the little it's really annoying little lcd characters bobbing about but nothing's happening so i'm gonna have a go at taking it apart maybe uh seeing what i can do but even would, would I... you know hey? <laughs> if you took it apart would you know <laughs> it, there might just be a loose contact okay that you could solder back on okay um but yeah a little bit frustrating, but it's lovely to find it. I paid three pounds, so even if I cannot get it working for spares and repairs, uh, it's got its little battery cover. 
you could probably get more money back just on the battery cover. Yeah. There's money in it still, but frustrating that at the moment it's not working. Question, Nick. Did you fit it all into one mail sack in your latest video? Yes. Yeah, it's in the video, isn't it? I show me sealing it up. Yeah. Do you want to share something? Oh uh, yeah. I don't know if this is highly highly exciting, but um it was that sort of day where you know we were, we was going along and looking at the rails and things are like four pound, five pound, and you think, oh no, not for an MS skirt or not for a you know it you kind of think start thinking to yourself, oh am I actually gonna find anything here? And then you get to a rail and you ask somebody how much something is and they say everything's a pound <laughs> so, brilliant so i ended up getting loads of stuff on this person so this is a really nice m s skirt shall i carry on should i do the pound rail stuff yeah go on okay so what what would you roughly i know you haven't looked up prices but I, um, roughly what 12.99 12.99 14.99 something like that cool um and then this is per una special like a sheer blouse almost jacket type thing but i, do, I love that pattern it's really cool so that was off the pound uh, rail. like peacocky isn't it colors oh almost. yeah it's, it's tropical let's tropical say. Is let's that say it's it tropical is. that would be a key word um and then i am denied on this one but then i thought to myself come on it's a pound so i picked it up um it's just a new look khaki utility jacket they're quite trendy aren't they, they are um i you know, it's had a bit of wear, but I, I just well, thought... Oh, it's got someone's perfume smell on it. it. I'll have to wash it then. But I just thought to myself, you know, oh, it's a pound. It's got detailing on it. It's got badges. Love it. Um, this is Kenzo, um, which is quite an expensive brand to buy new. She had a few Kenzo bits, but most of them were that sort of T-shirt material, so they were all a bit worn. But this one was cool. Really liked the pattern on that. So that was from the pound rail and then this one caught my eye it doesn't look much but it's nine west which is quite an expensive brand nine west and it's like a sort of shiny mac like coat is it a dirty old man's coat <laughs> well it's a woman's coat so hopefully oh. it's not a dirty old man's coat dirty old woman's coat that feels then, unused. That I know, feels it does, like doesn't it's... It? She had some really nice brands. This is nice, but it's an, got an annoying mark on it. And I'm hoping that I can get that off without washing it because it's got it's brand new with tags. And it, I'm sure that must be expensive. Well, we have a tag because... gun, so you could just take the tag off and then mm, tag it again. No, it's got like that. Anyway, um, yeah, I haven't heard of this brand before. It's Maylene Berger. I don't know. Something like that. But it's from outnet.com and they only sell expensive designer stuff. So I picked it up and thought I'd give it a go at a pound and hopefully I can get that stain out. And yeah, I think that was it for the pound stuff. Well, right, where am I putting this lot? Don't know. Don't know. I'll be back. Um, so more goodies. Uh, picked up this, which is Alex Ryder. Um, I think it's thirty-seven CD set. Uh, so audiobooks. Uh, I paid the price you can see on it. If you can see it, two fifty. Um, that will go into Amazon. Um, another little Furby. You know my history with Furbies, but this one will not get a sledgehammer around its head. Cool stripey one. Haven't tested him yet, but it's in quite is good. Is that name. his te technical term? Cool stripey one. Yeah, that's his official name. Yep, little Furby boom. Hopefully, quite often with these, the battery uh, compartments all furred up because batteries just get left in them. This one is clearly dead. I can tell by the weight of it, it's got batteries in. So hopefully, they've not been in there for years. Mm. That's sellotape stuck right. to his ears as well. He just needs a bit of a baby wipe on him because he's a bit... Yeah, he's got stickers on his face. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Furby. He's obviously been abused. He's been abused? <laughs> what, like the one in my video? 
<laughs> no, not to that extent. And then um, I go on. <laughs> Gary just made a, a joke. That tag is from McDonald's, Marlene Burger. <laughs> okay. And then I, on a stall, they had a couple of uh, point and click 35 mil cameras. Um, I was kind of excited when I saw Olympus, but this isn't one of the Olympus that go for silly money. Um, but it's working fine. It's got a zoom lens. And as you can tell, it's all going. But it's worth it's only worth a tenner. Ten to fifteen pounds if I'm lucky, max. Uh, it's an Olympus Zoom. No, Olympus Super Zoom seven hundred BF. But not one to get excited about. But at fifty p, that was yeah. worth grabbing. Yeah, Margaret, I was thinking that too. Uh, Margaret said, um, put the tag in a jam jar with the lid on, and then you can wash it. Yeah, I've I've seen that hack before, so haven't tried it myself. But, a glass yeah. jam jar mm. in the washing machine? No, um, like hand wash it. Oh, I was going to say that you just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. smash the jam jar. I <laughs> know. Okay, my second favourite find of the day behind this, which may have been relegated now because it doesn't work, was this. Now, the first computer I ha ever had experience of was one of these. This is very, very cool. In primary school, did you have one in yeah. primary? Yeah, I think everybody did. Yeah. I was talking to Andrew earlier, he was saying the similar thing. If, um, any, if anyone watched Back in Time for School um, recently, they were doing a lot of stuff about the BBC, weren't they? Yeah, this is a BBC, now what did they actually call them? Microcomputer, wasn't it? Yeah, just... microcomputer system. Yeah, BBC microcomputer system, let me just untangle it. Um, and I remember playing Chucky Egg. This is what introduced me to gaming, no, pretty Chuck, much. Was that on that? Chucky Egg I was used on to this. Play Chucky Egg on the Commodore sixty four. Yeah, it was on lots of systems. Okay. Um, it's very dusty. I have no idea if it works. Um, it's got its mains plug, but I will just need an RF lead. Hopefully, that's all I'm going to need to test that bad boy out. Uh, I paid 30 and the reason I felt confident to go for it at 30 was because, I mean, the BBCs are worth pretty good money, I think, anyway, but it had loads of other stuff with it. So I got a disc drive, so it's got a floppy, now what are these, five and a half inch discs? I can't remember now. Play it again, Sam. Um, back when floppy discs were properly floppy, <laughs> proper floppy. So yeah, it's got a disk drive. Again, none of this stuff is tested, but fingers crossed. Yeah. And then it had two cardboard boxes full of uh, accessories and the guy said games. I didn't look into it, but I was a little bit disappointed when I went through these when we got home because there's not really any games in there. And those that are in there are on cassette and all the cassettes are missing. But yeah. it's got a few nice things. AMX page maker. Mm. Um, and then somewhere is the mouse. And this mouse is the coolest thing. Is it in the other box? It might be in the other box. Hold on, no, 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 it might be here. Uh, there's loads of like BBC um, magazines and oh, yeah, stuff. Really cool. This sort of thing. And then a bunch of these bug magazines. There's a whole load of these. So they might have some collector's value as well. And mm. um, some other sort of accounting software and stuff pretty boring bits but the mouse i think i, I just cannot, <laughs> can't, move. can't move oh here we go amx mouse check this bad boy out um it may be worthless i haven't like i said i didn't really get a chance to look up this stuff but I don't think many of these will have survived. Everybody's laughing at your use of floppy. It's a floppy disk. What? <laughs> and here's another one. Check out my floppy. But look at this thing. I mean, it's this all is, of its. This is really cool. All of its inserts. Um, you've got your floppy, and then look at it. It's like. Is that something out of Doctor Who? It is. I was thinking it's like canine. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little tiny canine puppy dog 
but how cool is that and vintage computer accessories are, are just year on year seeming to be be more collected and going up in value this may still be worthless i have not looked into it if anyone is on ebay right now and you want to have a look let me know if it's any good at all it's an amx mouse uh for the bbc micro as you can see there for the bbc micro i don't know i think it's cool um yeah i think it's really cool and like kai has just said it's, really, it's especially cool that it's boxed yeah in its packaging with manual disc the works there's not going to be many that were kept in the box who keeps a mouse in a box <laughs> it's cruel i tell you it's cruel i hope you put some holes in it for air yeah you know, so the mouse can breathe <laughs> always have air holes in your mouse box right people come here for facts like that yeah this sort of information so anyway um does Nick like to be all floppy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not sure how to reply to that, Pete. Oh, dear. Um, Dave says, yes, the AMX mouse boxed in great condition like that will be worth 60 to 100. I thought so. I was hoping so anyway. And then fingers oh, crossed oh, that yeah. the BBC is working because, I mean, the, the system and everything else could be another 80 to 100 pounds um so yeah it was a good pickup in the end 30 felt a lot for an, an item of untested electronic equipment but it's not really when it's vintage computing so i was happy to pay it and i think i got all of that footage on the gopro so hopefully you'll see me finding that if you're pointing in the right direction and then but it was yeah <laughs> i'm gonna have to work on this gopro malarkey but yeah very happy to find it um just quickly there's loads of software but most of it is pretty dull stuff but it may still have some collector's value and as i said the games that were in here are really lovely but they're all like that so somewhere is a box with a load of tapes in yeah i mean it's really frustrating that it's all the actual games that were empty yeah Apart from this one. <laughs> Apart from, wait for it, Shirley Conran's Magic Garden. <laughs> oh, you didn't think it could get better. <laughs> it just is. Don't you want to play that? I want to know what. Don't you want to play with Shirley's uh, Magic Garden? I want to play with her Magic Garden. <laughs> the Magic Garden is for busy people, people who prefer to spend what time they've got lazing in the garden rather than digging it. <sighs> Hey, sounds perfect. This was entertainment back in 1983 <laughs> or whenever this is. 83, it is 83. So yeah, this sort of riveting stuff. Um, another one that's unfortunately not in there, but I'll have fun going through this um, and probably bundle a lot of this with the system if it's not worth much money. So, and also this sort of thing, which has little chips in it sorry somebody called dci burnside is just coming <laughs> dci burnside am i in trouble <laughs> and um yeah, I'll got I'll little... go back. <laughs> peter Dust just made me laugh he said <coughs> said hi dci burnside a bill fan are we <laughs> i just couldn't read that without miranda in my head a bill's bill fan are we <laughs> using the are we's are we so yeah anyway fun stuff i like picking up this stuff it gets me excited why is that funny whatever floats your boat dear you get excited about you know yeah clothes uh, i picked up a mini mouse today i did, didn't bring it in to show you because i'm keeping it and a stitch yeah which you told ellen she couldn't have but i actually bought it for her i was messing with her also, good. if you're watching Carla's stream and Nick said um, that Ellen would like that unicorn top, she was very offended by that. <laughs> it was only a joke, but she does like unicorns. She wouldn't wear a unicorn top, though. She's 17 years old. But she does like unicorns. She likes them, but she doesn't like want all lots of unicorn things. <laughs> um, okay. 
Let me scroll to the end so we can see stuff as it comes in. Um, What's Mark Walsh says? Question from Super Chat. Has somebody super chatted? Have we missed a super chat? I haven't seen one. Let me scroll. I can't see one. No, there isn't. A... Oh. oh, there is. Mia, so sorry. We completely missed you. I'm Apologies, really Mia. Sorry. I hope you're still watching. Um, thank you for the super chat. Do you want to read out yes, what it's said? Uh, Mia asks, what label printer do you use? And it says, love your videos. Thank you, Mia. I'm sorry. Really sorry we missed that. We completely. use a zebra. Do you want me to show it to you? A zebra. Yeah. Sometimes when we're going through the chat, it just jumps and we miss a load of comments. We use one of these bad boys, Zebra GK420D. Um, yeah, you can get them secondhand on eBay for, if you're lucky, around £100, which sounds a lot, but this can be a game changer. It certainly was for us. Um, I get the labels free from royal mail if you have a, an account with royal mail you can get labels six by four labels for free which is a huge bonus um, there's also a listing for this on amazon uh, if you're watching this after the event i'll put a link below to the to the amazon listing because you can sometimes pick them up reasonably on there um, but they're not cheap but they're worth the money no. right, right i'm scrolling to, back to the end i hope no one else has super chatted and i have missed it yeah, sorry if we miss questions and stuff. Um, it's hard to chat and read all of that. Karen's sister had a rainbow unicorn wedding last week. As you can imagine, lots of unicorn themed presents. I got her some, oh, I got her some silver unicorn earrings. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh it's waking up again now. I plugged it in. So, are you done on items? Um, no, no. Um, okay. shall, we, shall we go with the theme of unicorns and rainbows? I bought this jumper. Oh, which I really like. It's next, next knitwear, and um, I don't know. Might keep it. <laughs> I don't know yet. We'll see. Thumbnail time. Go, go back. Go back. <laughs> um, this unassuming looking thing um, is a official Lego. What do you call that? Pirates hatchet. Maybe got a pirate on it. Um, yeah, it's one of those foam ones. Uh, generally, I will pick up two or three of these and bundle them to get together. Hardly worth doing on its own, but it was on a stool. I think we got it with the Furby, didn't we? For like 50p or something. Oh, and then you spotted um, these. Charmaine, is that Me Too Tigger or Meto Tigger? Says, hi, guys, I've just found your channel. Are you in the UK? Yes, we are. Yes, yep, we're in, we're in the UK. UK. Uh, we're in Hitchin, which is about... 30 miles up from london yeah yeah you spotted these today well we kind yeah. of spotted them at the same time we were cruising around at the end just thinking about going home and we both kind of made a beeline for these which are placemats did now we haven't had a chance to look them up have we no we just thought they looked worth well the... I, I do love this design anyway i've got a friend who has got wallpaper in this design and she's got curtains and all kinds of stuff fox yeah, are they all the same? They're all different colours. Oh, are they? Yeah. So they're they're brand new and sealed, which is why we were drawn to them. And then they they're just a cool design, and we paid a pound for the pack. So worst case scenario, I think our money is safe in a pound, you know. But I'm sure there'll be a little bit in it. Mm -hmm. Pirates chopper, fair enough. Cutlass, that's the word, Alexandra. Cutless. Yes, cutlass. Barry, yes. Stu. Yes. Yes, everyone's saying cutlass at me. <laughs> okay, it's like the quiz has started already. Um, if you are new and you're you're just joining us, um, we're doing a bit of a haul, just sharing some of the stuff, not all of it. It would take too long to do all of it. Um, but we'll try and get a bit of quizzing in at the end. Oh, so Tom, that was cool. Tommy Picker says it reminds me of a Battenberg cake. That's my jumper. It is a bit like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So um, on the jumper theme, I also picked up a pure 100 percent cashmere jumper so so soft have you felt this absolutely gorgeous ah. um and i paid three pounds for this but it's worth it because it's rub it on your face it's cashmere <laughs> cashmere from goat don't know it comes from a particular sure. animal oh isn't the it? label's missing the care label's missing but it's cashmere goat 
Hang on, I've got to scroll to the end. available. Um, What's the fox say? Says George. That's that song, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. God, that was annoying, wasn't it? I have no it? idea. <laughs> rabbits, goats, it's not ferrets. Rabbits. It's definitely not rabbits. Yes, goats. Um, Shirley says goats. Yeah. Cookie yeah. Monster says goats. Claudia does too. Unicorns, yeah. Gary. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> mate. But yeah. <laughs> For it's, it's unicorn fur, I think we'd mark it up a bit higher. It's really, really, really soft and it's gorgeous. So that was worth three pounds, I think. Cool. Um, yeah, I think easy sort of 30 pounds at least on that. Then we went up to a store and I don't think I had the GoPro going at that point. And I, they had three big crates full of um, mostly DVDs, a few CDs. And I, I saw a couple of sealed Battlestar Galacticas and thought, okay, it's worth asking. And she said, um, three for a pound. And then she immediately followed that up with, you can have all of it for a tenner. And this was three mm, big boxes. Yeah. And I nearly just went, okay, but we were in the mini. We weren't trying to buy loads of stuff either. But then I rummaged and I got a bunch of stuff at three for a pound. So we've got Seal Battlestar Galacta. Won't be much Galactica. Won't be much in that. Uh, nice mash box set. Um, I don't even know if I've got all of it here. Another mash. Who watched this in the 70s? I, I loved this. My parents were really into this. Great series. It's basically a Vietnam War hospital yeah camp, comedy actually, it reminds me of uh, margaret and jeff because every time i went to stay there they used to watch that every evening yeah um a couple of questions uh, miss butterfly asks where do i get my clear clothes bags i bought them on amazon um but i'm not going to repurchase them i'm going to try and find some a biodegradable um option for that yeah um which i'm looking into but yes the ones i currently use i purchased on amazon and they have got like um suffocation warning on them. Um and then what else was I reading? Oh, the fox table mats are apparently thirty pounds on Amazon. <coughs> um Oh, okay, good. And then Al's Attic says that pure the cashmere jumper is thirty five pound plus. Wow. Cool. Narcolep narcoleptic tinkerer says usually when i hear a ka-ching whilst watching you it's you just heard two ka and they were all mine oh, well hey! <laughs> um more media that i got from that uh still sealed triple pack uh naked gun airplane that sort of stuff uh another battle star galactica when it's 33p each i'm gonna grab a bunch of stuff um mash was set in the korean war oh was it korean war okay fair enough apologies um yeah Blu-ray box set. It's just silly money, really. And there was a bu bunch of other stuff. Sons of Anarchy and bits and bobs. Um, this week was the last thing we picked up on the way out. Uh, paid two pounds. Now, it's it's Czech, isn't it? Like a Czech language course. Yeah. But I had a quick look in the book, and there's there's no English in there. So I'm thinking it's it's for Czechs to maybe learn English. I'm thinking. Mind you, there'd be the English version of it. You would think so, wouldn't you? So I don't know. Maybe it's. I've got. I've got to, I've got to do some googling on this. Um, but it's a nice pack, a uh, big fat book, and a bunch of CDs. Two pounds. I'm always going to go for those language courses. So that's that research needed. Um, some board games. Uh, Monopoly. Oh, this was. These were all fifty p. Uh, this was interesting. Uh, it's sealed, so it may go into Amazon if it has any value. But it's Who's the Dude? And it's got a blow-up doll in it. Oh, yeah. Didn't the woman say that her friends know her well because she got two of them for her birthday? It's, yeah. She <laughs> she described it as a drinking game, yeah. like an adult drinking party game. And her friends bought her two. So she just <laughs> took one to the boot sale and yeah. sold it to us for 50p, um, along with uh, Monopoly and other stuff. I bought quite a bit of her. Um, oh, quiz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. We might I'm not sure some... if that will go down too well. Not sure how well that will go down with like some it. of our viewers. But um, we, we could do Harry Potter quiz later. Sean Travels. Hi, Sean. 
uh, said, hey, sub today. Love this kind of content. And weirdly enough, you guys are based in the town next to mine. Um, look forward to watching more videos. Well, thanks for joining us. Here's Sean's here's local. Cool. So where do you reckon Sean is? Stevenage? Maybe. Maybe lecturer. Well, welcome. <laughs> oh, apparently we've got 400 people viewing. I thought numbers would be up because that video has gone bonkers. Um, although the Korean War is the film storyline setting, the subtext is about the Vietnam War. Okay. Oh, I always yeah, had in my head that was Vietnam I didn't really War. Watch it. There's a question there you've just skipped. It just by. jumped. Where were we? Where are you looking? Um, further up. Had a big cross. Further, further up. There we are. Oh, question, yeah. Yeah, Z raised question. Um, do you do you use normal or business PayPal account? We've got a business PayPal account. Well, we are a business. This is what this is how we earn our living. So yeah. we are a registered business. We pay tax as any business does. Um, we have a business account on eBay and PayPal, and yeah, everything is registered and above board as it would be, as it should be, <laughs> and as you would expect. It's funny actually. I've had a number of comments on that video I know. That, about some, about some these have made things. Us lol. <laughs> People going, "Hmm, hope the HMRC doesn't watch YouTube." Or assuming we're not tax registered because we make YouTube videos or something. I don't know. It's really weird. Anyway, so there's a bunch of media. The rest of it's pretty bog standard stuff. These were nice. Um, cassettes are kind of on vogue at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. Cassettes have made a comeback. And, um, well, you like It the... almost makes me want to go and get a Walkman. <laughs> so I can listen I've to got this. a bunch. Oh. Yeah, I've got loads. That's exciting. Um, what drew me to it particularly was these Madonna ones, some of which eBay messages, uh, some of which a, a um, message from Love Honey. <laughs> from Love Honey, what, what have you been ordering this week? Yeah, from Love Honey. So yeah, we've got Madonna. That's uh, oh, the... this is li literally like my record collection. I, I swear, like Banana Rama, Madonna, the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. <laughs> It's Kylie and Whitney. Banana Rama. This was my. This, I had all of these on cassette. Did you have one tape? I was buying tapes for uh, for the very last bit of the 80s, sort of 88, 89, 90, and then I got a CD player. But yeah, so some Whitney stuff, Kylie stuff, a bunch of Madonna. I think there's five Madonna ones. And Phil Collins. I and mean, a, this literally is my. A random Phil Collins. And I, I picked up one just um, for Andrew. Collection. I can't. Did I not pick up the Isis? No. Oh, I was going to pick that up just for Andrew. I thought I had. No, because I said to you about picking up Bon Jovi as well. No, oh, I, I should have just grabbed them all, really. Yeah. But she wanted 50 pence each, and then we got however many this was one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We ended up getting 12 for three pounds, which is 25p each. <coughs> so there's that. The Madonna ones, I did briefly look. And <coughs> dust. The Madonna ones might be worth doing individually. If not, we'll just bundle those up. Um, what other? Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, Willie says, do you test your tapes? Well, I'm I'm willing to <laughs> take a trip down memory this lane. This is literally Andrea's 80s music collection, so she'll she'll have a listen. The, 90s, yeah. the trouble with testing tapes would be that if if you're from the 80s, you're if you're from the 80s. <laughs> If you've time travelled from the <laughs> 80s, you'll know that sometimes you, it would just get caught on a certain bit and that bit of the tape could be ruined. And we're not going to listen to both sides of, you know, all of those tapes. Mm. So probably not. No. Um, OK. He left the Oasis because he knows they're crap. I quite like Oasis. I don't have a problem with Oasis. Karen says she's from the 80s. Yeah, we're from the 80s. Well, we're from the 70s, actually. <laughs> Don't remember a lot of the 70s, though. I picked this up. Again, I think I was filming when I picked this up. But I did for a, about half an hour when I was pressing record on the little GoPro. Because there's no screen. I can't really tell what it's doing. I was actually stopping. And then when I thought I was stopping, I was recording. So I've got loads of footage of the inside of my pocket. But I yeah. think I got this purchase on, on film. This is a Micro Machines fold-out play set. Uh, I got it for three pounds. Um, there's loads of bits and bobs in it, so I don't know. If, but I'm sure you've seen these before. Um, not sure what value is in these. 
currently I think about £20. But it looks in really good nick, apart from the fact that I cannot get it back together. I was there at the stall for ages trying to put it back together. Gave up in the end. And then what could be one of the pickups of the day, apart from my dragons, you wait, you wait till you see my dragons. <laughs> Same stall actually. I've uh, got a bunch of Harry Potters, you know me, standard. Oh, more stuff in the stall. Like I said, everything was three for a pound, including this stuff. There was like Wii games. There was a sealed um, Xbox game. But yeah, same stall where I bought the dragons that I'll show in a minute. Can I just answer Donna's question? Yeah. And she said she did a car boot today and made £113, which is great. Um, said, Nick, how do you not suffer with FOMO when you when you do yours? He doesn't because he leaves me there and he wanders around all the time, which is why I hate doing boot sales. Outrageous. I, I went and wandered a little bit at the Only end. on this, this one, but generally you're off. You come back and then you're like, I'm just going to go and have another little round. And then you come back with two more heavy bags and I just stand there. Bone of contention. Are we done? <laughs> okay, so I, I rocked up at a stall and they had a crate on the floor to the side of the stall. It was filled with tarot related stuff, like sets of tarot cards, uh, books and stuff. Um, and I, I just went straight in and said, what do you want for the box for? Um, they am denied and they just said a tenner. So I was more than happy to pay that. There's loads of stuff. I quickly whizzed through it. So this is Dragon Oracle, which is a set of cards and God knows what, which is actually new, unused and sealed inside the box. Tarot of the Elves. Now, we've bought and sold tarot stuff in the past. Generally, it goes really well. Um, not all tarot cards are equal, that's for sure. Um, but there was a lady at the stall, a customer, browsing. And as I came up, I saw these. I, I, set, I asked them how much they wanted for the whole box, just went straight in. They came up with a tenner. And this customer said, oh, that's way too cheap. I, I just handed over the money. She said, oh, that's way too cheap. You should, should ask way more than that. And I'm like, hello, I'm buying this stuff. I've done the deal. Go away, please. Mm. How rude. Anyway, they were fine with it. Um, oh, it's all sealed. Another set of tarot and these, I don't know if you can see, but are factory sealed in the cellophane. I mean, I don't know if these have got prices on, but generally they're not very cheap to buy new. Can you, can you read a price there? I can't read anything there. No. no. There's no price. So that's three sets. Um, UK Bay says, Hi, Andrea. We went to a boot sale today, and one of the stalls' stock was completely wicker. You'll, love, you'll have loved it. Oh, would have done. Wow. Didn't find anything fun today, wicker-wise. Um, There's a question on what is the best um, service to use for something that's really heavy to post it um ups i would use for that sort of stuff generally or use one of the price comparison sites um parcels to go that sort of thing so yeah another set loads of cards and a book in that metal tin i don't know how many sets there are that's four um i don't know if that's the message that you attracted me but i do use vintage yes five see this is american uh, 25 American dollars. Grey or tarot? I don't know. I I am not an expert in this at all. These are getting quite heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mythic, but you can see why I thought it was a, a deal well worth going for at ten pounds. Um, and the second part of your question is, I I like it. I quite like vintage. I like the fact there aren't fees. They pass the fees on to the buyer rather than the seller, which is great. And um, sealed. Yeah, I've had some good sales in there. I could keep going. There's a tiny box. <laughs> sealed in the wall. This one has been opened, but the contents are sealed again. Oh no, no, <laughs> no, those are used. Gary says, I see heavy boxes in your future. Should we try? Should we see if we can uh, 
I've actually got my legs crossed as well, so it's not the most comfortable situation to be in right now. Ten pound a lot. I think it was an okay oh, deal. Wouldn't you just love to be me? <laughs> um, and some books and stuff. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten and a half sets, let's call that. Pound a box. So even if they're nothing amazing and I'm getting a ten or a box, that's pretty good. What? Right? Yeah. Oh, more media that Sounds I got from, me. from Can that. Can we actually move these now, please? No, no, no. <laughs> right, I'm going to knock them over. Hang on, stay. ready? All right, give me a sec. Uh, Dead Space 2 sealed. It was from that guy doing three for a pound. Uh, Sonic Secret Rings, all this sort of stuff. There was loads of it. Wally, Guitar Hero. Anyway, right. Ugh. Who wants to see a dragon? Oh, Andrew will be annoyed look we haven't started quiz and it. it's um i know it's gone nine i'm afraid it's quiz o'clock we'll have to do a short quiz yeah it's going to be harry potter tonight so don't worry oasis can't be the answer <laughs> there you go here's a dragon right quickly share dragons same stall oh, um I got no, yeah. I think it was you and Denarding went back about three times, didn't you? Before you decided, now these aren't amazing, okay. but they are really nicely sculpted. They are a named brand, these are fabulous dragons, um, all individually named. So, this is Sheldruck, and they are Danbury Mint. So, nothing amazing, but I, I briefly looked into it because I was tempted, and then I looked up on eBay, I think as individual models there's one that's got a little bit of a damage that i didn't notice which is annoying but considering how detailed these are it's a miracle really that they survived and that we managed to drag them off the car boot cell and bring them home and not damage them so yeah i'll show you a few just to give you an idea i'll probably try these individually for about 15 pounds each see how i get on yeah um, Pip asks question: Do you keep records of how much each item has cost and how much you sold it for? You're not that organised, really. No, and you don't need to for tax. Uh, you need to have a record of all of your expenses and then a record of all of your income. You don't. The taxman doesn't need to know how much money I made on that, for example. Um, mm. We keep uh, records of everything we spend because you have to tax purposes, and then everything we sell. And the difference between the two is is essentially what we make. Mm. Um, but don't come here for tax advice. We are not accountants. No, I mean, for your own personal records, if you want to do something like that, it can be useful. A lot of people keep spreadsheets so they can keep a track mm. of how they're doing on each individual item and stuff. But with the amount of stock we have, it would be a, a very long-winded exercise for very little point. Anyway, so there's 10 of these. And I think I'll do okay. If they don't sell individually, I will bundle these up. The store we bought these on had loads and loads of this sort of stuff. This really isn't my cup of tea, to be honest. But these are particularly well sculpted, I think, and really, really detailed. And again, all from the same set, same company. So I thought it was worth going on. I, I did drive a hard bargain on it. Um, the first time I spoke to the woman, they were four pounds each. I ended up getting these at a pound each, um, but it was right at the end and they wanted rid of them. So, Frisbee says he, he passed on a load of those dragons boxed in a um, charity shop last year. Okay. Well, I thought a pound each, I was going to take mm. a chance. I may well live to regret it, and these are going to be fun to package and ship. Um, but I like, I really like to experiment with new stuff. I mean, if you followed this channel long enough, you'll know. We both take, you know, take a punt on stuff now and again. I think it's the best way to learn. And I may yet learn that these were not a good idea. <laughs> there you go. So I think we'll draw a line there. There's a load more bits of media stuff. Um, I've still got some oh, go on to then. Show. Go for it. So um, I didn't pick this up for uh, the brand. I don't even know if Parisian is anything particular. I picked it up for the style because scarf print is very much in currently. So it's um, either a short shirt dress or a long blouse. It's got a belt with it as well. 
Um, but yeah, scarf print is very in at the moment. So I picked that up. And I'm not feeling that, I'll, I'll tell you. No, I know. It's, it's like, very it's like, Versace, um, isn't it? I was thinking pimp. <laughs> it's a bit. <laughs> Drug baron. No. And then this coat, which smells funny. <laughs> not like nasty funny, almost chemically funny. Um, is um, Nest. <coughs> and it is just a short leopard print. Now that is, um, I think I said this when we had one of these before, but Nikki Wire would have worn this. <laughs> yeah. I'll do a manic, manic, manic street preachers impression. Oh, it's too small for me. Oh, very nice. Blue Cozy steel, blue steel. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that. Is it blue steel? Um, yeah, in Zoolander. The, Zoolander. Oh. That is so warm. I was instantly warm in there. Yeah, I don't like the blouse for myself. I have to say, it is quite hideous, but it is that particular print is quite trendy at the moment a big furby is that what i look like <laughs> <laughs> bet lynch yes yeah. keywords <laughs> nicky wire bet lynch yeah. fur it coat. will sell itself leopard print never goes out of fashion suits me mm. richie manic yep okay. pat off eastenders uh -huh. yeah lily savage oh wonderful keyword suggestions Okay. Um, Chris B says, I do a spreadsheet on each item. If I bought as a bundle, I break it down to the value on each item. Yeah. Cool. Everybody has their different ways. That's my little GoPro. And I managed to sync this with my phone so I can actually control yeah, it. There was through a lot of phone. swearing going on. <laughs> it wasn't. E it should have been easy, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, right. We're going to stop sharing tat because we'll be here all night. Um, so if you are new, and I know there's a bunch of new people in, our Sunday show has evolved into ending on a quiz. Now, how this works is we're going to ask quiz questions. Today, as a one-off, it's going to be Harry Potter. Um, Chris also said, I see Pat Butcher quite often in my local post office. Oh. Awesome. How bizarre. Um, so we'll ask questions. The first correct answer we see gets a point. When we have stopped asking questions, the person with the most points wins a load of tap points. It's as simple as that. And Miss Butterfly asks if I have any vintage brands that I recommend. Not necessarily, no. I just pick it up if it's something that I like and I think the style will sell. Quite a lot of the time, you don't recognise the vintage brands. They're not necessarily ones that you would know. Right, putting your answers in now, Stu, is not helping you, okay? This is not working. He's put Wizard, Dumbledore, the ginger one. Well, you're not going to get a point for the ginger one anyway, are you? Okay, so we're going to do... Oh, Claire says live... Oh, you are on live chat. Yeah, as Gary was saying, it's, it's the first correct answer that we see. Sometimes it varies from screen to screen. I can screen share the chat if, you know, people get yeah. funny about it. Uh, Mr. O'Dosh says, do you guys go or buy from auction houses? We have done in the past. It's not something we do regularly. Not for a while. We have enough stuff to keep ourselves going. Um, yeah. Okay. Answers are coming in. Cutlass. <laughs> Hagrid. Oasis. Oh, somebody had to. Right. Do you want to ask some, ask some questions? Wow, these are small. Where's my magnifying glass? You can't find it. You can Because you can't see. You can ask. <laughs> I can't find my reading glasses or my magnifying glass. I'm an old man. And he went to Poundland to try and find a magnifying glass and they didn't know Couldn't it. see one. <laughs> okay, I'll be I'll be Carol Smiley for you then. Okay. Right. Are you ready, people? How do Harry and Dumbledore travel from Hogwarts to the cave to find the Horcrux? Ooh. I don't know. Are you going to vet these so it's so if they're too crazy hard, I might have to pick some. Right, we've already got um, a, Do they a correct answer. Yes, they apparate. Nice. And the first person was Joel Quinn, who's an actor. 
Joel gets first point. Well done. Joel Quinn. Who is the keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts? Oh, what's his name? No, that is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the You'll all get this one. Person. <laughs> Who is the keeper of keys? Now, are, you, are, are we giving that to Joel? I think we need to give that to Joel. To Joel as well for Hagrid. Yeah. yeah. Hagrid? I think we do. <laughs> the answer is Hagrid. Yeah, but it was just a typo. Okay. Well done, Joel. Andrew's in charge of contentious decisions. <laughs> and apparently Hagrid is getting the point. I was thinking Fitch. No, Filch, isn't it? Filch, yeah. Um, but no, but he's, he's, he's the caretaker, caretaker, isn't he? Okay. Um, what spell does Hermione use to open the cell where Sirius Black is being held in the Dark Tower of Hogwarts? What, what spell does Hermione use to open the cell where Sirius Black is being held in the Dark Tower of Hogwarts? Oh, I remember. It was oh, gosh, open, opening Dorium. See, you have to be a true fan to know this. Nobody's going to get this. <gasps> Lucy. Well Lucy? Done. Where, where, where? I can't see it. Lucy M? No. Where's the correct yeah. answer? Yeah, it was Lucy M, but that was Oh, Bombarda? Yeah. Ooh. Fantastic. I've seen the films and I, I don't know that. I didn't know that. I wouldn't have remembered. Lucy M. Well done. In whose vault is the sword of Gryffindor believed to be hidden? In whose vault? Yeah. I did know the answer to this. I'm realising I, I don't know anything about Harry Potter now. <laughs> We've been to the Harry Potter world at Orla Orlando. Oh, like, yeah. We've done the London one twice, seen all the films. They've completely changed it now, the London one. I've seen it on some vlogs. The Gringotts <sighs> Bank is open and they've got like all the vaults and uh, they've changed all of the entrance. They've got a brand new cafe. I'm just going to want to go back. I do want to go back. Oh, dear. Beatrix Lestrange? Yes. She, oh, is it? It's Bellatrix. And it actually. is, Be I was going to say, it is Bellatrix, not Beatrix. Um, Bellatrix is by far and away my favourite character in the Harry Potter universe. But that's just because you like Helena Bonham Carter. Nothing wrong with Helena Bonham Carter, that's for sure. Was. But no, as a character, she's so just deliciously evil and twisted. And she plays that. She was born to play that role. Seriously, mm -hmm. it's just genius. So who got... So the answer Bellatri is... Bellatrix Lestrange. Okay, let me... Strange. Sorry. We will have to start concentrating. So we've got... Oh, right back here. Bellatrix, Cookie Monster. No, we're going with, we'll go with whoever put Bellatrix Lestrange. Did you ask for a full, full up name? I, that, that's not, what it says on the card. I won't... So, so you're not giving that to Cookie Monster? No, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, it's so, what it says on the card. Harsh. Here we are. Um, we'll give it to JD Network. JD Network. Okay. Any complaints? Sorry. Um, put Andrea Hills on the on the uh, email. <laughs> JD Network's getting that for Bellatrix Lestrange. Yeah. So if in doubt, full name, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, right, which Ministry of Magic employee does Hermione impersonate when she, Harry and Ron infiltrate the Ministry? I wouldn't remember that name. I remember her face. I don't remember the name. So which Ministry of Magic employee does Hermione impersonate when she, Harry and Ron infiltrate the Ministry? I so wouldn't know that. Umbridge? No. Jim Davison, Donny Osmond, the old lady. This, this might be a Google job. For, fastest Google first, if you don't. The nasty woman. No, she wasn't nasty. The dull one. <laughs> Dolores Umbridge. No, 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 everyone's putting that. The one from. Oh, here we go. That's Paddy. Dave Grohl. <laughs> Ministry of Funny Walks. Penelope Clearwater. No. Where's the correct answer? This one. Yeah. Mafalda Hopkirk. Hopkirk. Wow, if so, you knew that, that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> if you Googled it, that's fast typing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Paddy LS is off the mark. 
So Joel is on two, Lucy's on one, JD Network one, Paddy on one. Okay. I'm on zero. Which dragon does Fleur Delacour face in the first task of the Tri Wizard tournament? Which dragon does Fleur Delacour face in the first task of the Tri Wizard tournament? That one. That looked similar to that, didn't it? There was a spiky one. Was it? Was it the spiky one? Horn, horn-tailed, something or other. Oh no! <laughs> More like this one then. Oh, right? hang on! Somebody's come in with the right answer. A green one. Um, Harry Palmer, Welsh green. Welsh green. There it is. Look, this is a chilled-out dragon. Check that out. <laughs> he's, he's reclining. <laughs> right. So somebody actually knew yeah, that. Yeah, that was. Um... I just said it, didn't I? Um, yeah, I sorry, it's gone. Harry, Harry Palmer. Palmer. Sure, that's the first correct one, yeah. yeah? Well done, Harry. I would have no idea. Palmer. Mm. It's a new name. Welcome here if you are new. Okay. What does Hermione suggest that they do with the Horcrux locket when she sees that it's having a negative effect on Harry? What does Hermione suggest that they do with the Horcrux locket when she sees that it's having a negative effect on Harry? Take it off. Don't she tell him to take it off? What, what is the correct answer? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Stop wearing but it. But I didn't want to say it out loud just in case. <laughs> so the answer is what? I'll take turns wearing it. I don't know if anyone's put the right answer in yet. You just told them. Take what turns. Okay. All wear it. Okay, so do our correct answers coming in? We've got to find the first one. Share it. That's the mm. same. Share it. Share it. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so we've got destroy it. No, swallow it. Flog it. <laughs> take it off, which is what I thought, but that's not strictly the answer, no. is it? So sell it, it. eBay it. Destroy it. Take it off him. Eat it. Take it off. Destroy it eat it that dragon is medicated man <laughs> it's a pleasant valley picker it's cookie monster share wearing it cookie yeah. monster so you're not denying cookie monster at this point then no nice <laughs> yes so the solution was to share it but they didn't end up doing that did they they did they did yeah because it sent oh. on a bit do oh yeah he did yeah. yeah i've not seen that one for a long time Right, which Gryffindor student gives Harry the gillyweed that helps him to breathe underwater during the second task of the Triwizard Tournament? Bye, Peter. See you, Pete. Um, isn't which, it... Don't tell people because they, have, they haven't said anything yet. Which Gryffindor student gives Harry the gillyweed that helps him to breathe underwater oh, during guess. the second task of the Triwizard Tournament? We've got answers coming in. Neville. Yeah. Yes, but it, we're going to go with Neville Longbottom. Oh, strict C. But to be fair, you did say you're needing full answers, as in full names. So that's Harry Palmer. No, it's not. It's Joel Quinlan. Right above. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Joel. Oh, Joel is running away with this. The answer was Neville Longbottom, and Joel was in there with the full answer because Andrea Strict, she's not giving it to Eilish, no, Irish, no, Irish. You're, I, Irish, you're, you're thinking of Billy, aren't you? Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish, who or, you call Irish Bill. <laughs> Irish Bill. Our daughter's really into Billy Eilish right now and she just bought her second LP, didn't she? Yeah. Was that her first LP? I think it's her second It's one. her first LP, but she had an EP before that. Oh, right, yeah. So she bought this amazing, like, bright orange vinyl as well. Mm. Um, and I wind her up by calling her Irish Bill. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and, and yes. And you call uh, 21 Pilots the Pirates. <laughs> 21 Pirates? Wow. <laughs> she loves it when I say that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is the incantation for the stunning spell? Stunning spell? Mm -hmm. No idea. But James is asking for a Star Wars quiz. That would be cool. I might have to pick up a Star Wars quiz uh, or a Star Wars quiz book or something. If we see one, pick one up. 
normally it's kind of general knowledge and we owe oh, a mix of subjects yeah. this is a one-off harry potter special <laughs> izzy wizzy let's get wasted <laughs> is that it is, has anyone got it right yet um bye chelsea <laughs> stupefy is that yeah. it so oh, whoever came in first was stupefy. okay well there's a stupefy there from timorous reseller um yeah so that's it then yeah yeah oh hey no lucy where 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 i was first no no stupefy oh lucy m yeah i think julian no Gillian Hors horsley must be a bit behind because she's put the welsh green <laughs> you might want to refresh and, and make sure you're watching it as it's going out yeah so lucy m well done. lucy m we're going for that oh lucy m joel you're being caught we've got joel on three lucy on two and everyone else who's scored on one right how many more are we going to do it's nearly half past three more this is your three question warning okay how is harry as albert runcorn able to get into dolores umbridge's office without being seen by the numerous personnel outside of it how is Harry, as Albert <coughs> Runcorn, able to get into Dolores Umbridge's office without being seen by the numerous personnel outside of it? Because of that. No. I can't even read that for me. It's not, it's not what I said then. No. A lot of other people have said it as well. Yeah, I said invisibility cloak. You might not say the exact words on that we've got on the card, but we'll take whatever's... Uses a smoke bomb. A lot of people's... Oh, turns into a cat? Carwin? No. No? Oh. Uh, magic cloak, invisibility cloak, dynamite? <sighs> Cape? He walked in? No. Um... Invisible, disguised. Hmm. Is it... What's the, what's the answer? Or okay, are people it wasn't still an invisible cloak. No. Right, let me scroll down. Hold on. So, invisibility cloak. Decoy diversion. Oh, there you go. Well, well done. Eddie Horde of the Dragon. That's very apt. What what happened um, then? What, was, what did he do? Yeah, then? he set off, like, things around the office to divert to, as a decoy so that people were concentrating on that while he slept oh, in the office. I don't even remember that scene. Yeah, so we'll go with that. Decoy. Decoy detonator, it says on here. So, Eddie. Well, that's... somebody says there uses a smoke bomb. It wasn't a smoke bomb, though. You're not accepting that. You're definitely going with Eddie, Horde of the Dragon. Yeah. Okay, Decoy decision. Diversion. Decision made. Again, all complaints addressed to my good wife, Andrea, please. Eddie, Horde of the Dragon. Yeah. I've got a Horde of Dragons. <laughs> it's a just... very apt name for this evening, isn't it? Eddie horde of dragons two questions left anybody who already has one point can draw level with joel okay victor crumb is selected by the goblet of fire as the tri-wizard champion for which school so which wizarding school was victor crumb from that yeah well, I got one. <laughs> I finally got one. Yes, Durmstrang. Yeah, Lucy M. And Lucy, well done, Lucy. Straight in there. Um, Andrew said Quidditch. You're not quite on it tonight, Andrew. Uh, Hufflepuff, Durmstrang. Uh, yeah, it was Durmstrang because they were from a completely different school. Can't talk. Yeah, because their houses, not schools. Um. Just to be pedantic, <laughs> George F has got a question. He says, Nick, why do you choose business over sole trader? Uh, well, we're not sole traders, we're a partnership. Yeah, technically, we're registered as a partnership working together, so we're it's slightly different. Uh, who got that point? I think it was Lucy. Lucy M. Yeah, oh, Lucy M. Making, drawn with Joel. making a competition, of okay? It. So it's all to play for now. If Joel this or the... Lucy don't get this, we're going to have a, a question off. Yeah, it will be a, <laughs> a tie, tie break uh, between you two. So, yeah. Right. Okay. Final question. So, final question. Unless there's a tie break. 
What is the name of the Weasley's old owl? No idea. Oh, no. Yeah, isn't it the one who was a bit can't fly very well? What's his name? Alf? No. Errol. Oh, Joel. Yes. It is Errol. Eeyore. Yes. <laughs> Someone's for Eeyore. Oh, that was Lucy. Muppet, Hedwig, Errol. Yeah, a lot of people getting it right. Yeah. Oh, that means there isn't a tie break. Joel, fair play to you. Yeah, well done, Joel. So final scores. Joel Quinn on four. So that's four tap points plus the bonus five for winning. So nine tap points winging their way to you. Spend them wisely. Invest them if you like. They're, they're um, not physical, are they? No, they're made up. <laughs> They're not physical. They're non-existent. Um, Lucy M gets three tap points. JD Network one. Paddy one. Harry one. Cookie Monster one. Eddie Horde of Dragons one. Well done, everybody. So thanks for that joining cool. in. If you did, if you enjoy these sort of videos, we'll be back again next Sunday. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. We like that. And next week it won't be Harry Potter. If you if you're not interested in Harry Potter, we'll go back to a bit of general knowledge. Yeah. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the Hall of Stuff. Um, drop us a comment below. Let us know what what uh, items you enjoyed seeing. What you think our best pickup was. And uh, we'll see you. I think as long as it's working, it's got to be the computer, isn't it? Maybe. BBC was epic. Yeah. This was still my the find that got me the most excited because this is what got me into reselling collecting these things i'm just still slightly miffed that it doesn't work because nine times out of th these things are you know pretty bulletproof so i don't know why that's not working there you go right okay. yeah well have a good week everybody thanks for watching and see you soon yeah see you later guys bye, bye.